This one here, Mischief Magic, it, second time out, it, did, it obliged yesterday at Goodwood. And you'll see this one over here. This, this horse here, the pedigree of it's quite nice as well. Yeah, it's by a sire I do like, Exceed and Excel. The first dam of it, Veil of Silence, was, was not that good, really. It has to be said. It was unraced, actually. So it, it was never deemed good enough to get on the track or had some sort of setback. But the second dam of it is, is, is when things get quite interesting. Gossamer. Gossamer actually won the Guineas. So the second dam of it, second dam of the horse is a classic winner. There you go, you see. Phillies Mile winner at two. Irish Thousand Guineas winner at three. You can't, you can't really knock that Philly at all. And what's more, if you look at the third dam of it, Brocade, you're from Family 14A, you will actually see that Brocade is also the dam of Barathea. So it's not a bad horse, this, under the first three dams anyway. It's got some nice classic horses in there. If you go and look at the, the other side, you'll see that, again, it's got its own little, little section going on here. You'll see that there's Brocade, Barathea, 2,000 guineas winner in Ireland. And there is the second dam of this horse, Gossamer. Also related to Desert Style, Fair Stallion as well. Uh, some nice horses. And if you go further back as well, there's one there as well. I don't really know what the AGC is. Oh, yeah, it's got Gold Cup, my mistake. Sh Shangamuzo. And if you go back an even further to about the eighth dam, you'll see it there. Oh, no, you won't. It's on the next screen. Born in 1913. Reprisal. You'll see that she had her own little line going on quite nicely as well. Look, she'd wear an Irish Irish Thousand Guineas winner in 1955. An Irish Oaks winner in 1995. Uh, so, but if, if you go scroll through the rest of it you'll see again it's it's not one that it jumps out at you as, as as a certainty to be a decent horse yeah, there's a lot of uh hungarian classic winners and argentinian derby winners a ledger winner there means the sun if you go if you have a little look there's not really a lot japanese St. ledger winner there uh, so you'd have to be you have to tread careful with the horse the odd brilliant horse like Ridgewood Pearl. But if you if you go right to the top of it, you'll see around the eighteenth and nineteenth century, it was churning them out. Oats winners in everywhere, look around the fifties and sixties, Germany, France. So it's one of them really that that's not getting worse as it gets on, but it's one that one that they've struggled with really to maintain it from back in the Back when it was founded in 1826, off to a great start with ledger winners, German 2000 Guineas winners. But to the modern day, further you scroll down, you see the, the nearer they get to the modern day. It's just a matter of finding one that you, that's on your line and, and having a look roughly where it ties in. And hopefully it ties into a bit like ours does, that's done quite well. This in the past 30 or 40 years. So let's have, let's have a look at it in action. I mean, it's hard to make it. It's hard what to make of these uh, Goodwood maidens, really. Because I know it ran first time out at Goodwood as well, you know. So I used to like the Goodwoods. I've always thought Goodwood's a bit of a dodgy track for two year olds. It's <laughs> there, all loaded up for the maiden. Here is Simon. Uh, they're off. And no news breaking out well on the extreme right from stall 18. Uh, Mischief Magic in the lead, uh, leading group over that side as well, with possibly just leading the way Supreme King. And now coming through, it's Chico time. Mischief Magic, it's Chico time. Supreme King away to the right. Then Celtic Champion in a dark blue cap, red cap of Kessar Power. Slightly marooned out in the centre is Corp 
corporate raider tracking the leaders is a master of chant and imperiosity in a noseband, the pink jacketed Harry Magnus alongside Atomic Impact. Russet Gold is just tracking them towards the centre of the bunch in the blue and white diamonds, followed by your Cowlef in a white cap. Then further back is No Goes Dream, Waddy Barney right towards the rear with Hail End and Chasing Hard is Chartwell House and also Boy Browning. And up ahead it's Chico Time, Mischief Magic next to the rail, Kessar Power, Master of Chant runs on with Russet Gold and then behind these is Celtic Champion putting in a big run now in the dark blue cap but Mischief Magic leads the way from Supreme King deep inside the final furlong and Mischief Magic is firmly in control here for Godolphin and William Buick. Supreme King second, tight third, Yakowlis and Celtic Champion in the same ownership and they were away Boy, from Boy Browning, Kessar Power. You have to say, you have to say, it found plenty there. Typical, uh, typical exceed and excel horses. They are quite tough to pass. I've seen so many horses win like that in Australia. You know, they just can't get past them. So you know, it's hard, hard to know what to make of it. Really, could be a guinea's horse. You know, but with them, good old thing, I'd be, I'd be a bit nervous and hoping I could find something that was a little bit better than that. But it's, it's, it's. Heading the right way without any shadow of a doubt. But there's one, there is one that I saw earlier in the season by them that I would prefer to this one. But it's a nice horse without any shadow of a doubt. It looks decent. And I can make a case for it. 